What is up dudes and welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. Today we got myself, we got the Kevster once again. Kevin loves fishing so I'm going to be taking her a lot this summer. But today in this video we are going to be doing a monster bass challenge. If you guys haven't heard of monster bass before, this is a subscription based box that I'm sure you guys know about boxes like this. They just come filled with a bunch of baits. So today I'm going to do my very best to try to catch a fish on every every bait. Really quick, I will uh, I'll show you the baits that we got in this month's box. First bait, we got these little pack of craws. Second, we got a buzz bait. Third, chatter bait. Fourth, we got a pack of what looks to be little trick worm type things. Fifth, we got a swim bait. Sixth, we got a crank bait. Seven, we have a jig. And then I believe these are just the hooks to uh, to the plastics. So yeah, dudes, we are going to be uh, doing our best to hopefully go out on this lake. This is the first time I've fished this lake all year, by the way. We're gonna go out here and try to catch a fish on every single bait. I am really excited. This is the first time I've ever tried to do this with a monster bass box. So yeah, I think we're gonna get right into it. I already got the chesty on, Kevin. Kevin looks fairly ready. I'm gonna rig up and we're gonna get right to it. Stay tuned, guys. All right, dudes. I think first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my shoes and my socks. Decided to wear woolies. I don't know why. It was cold when I left my house, but now it's kind of starting to heat up. I'll tell you what, the hairs on that jig looks really good. What's this, a bed? First thing. That'd be sick. Just first cast, bed fish. Onto the next bait. I doubt it. What's the water temp here? Water temp is 55, just in case you guys are curious. Stay, you stay. I don't see nothing. Yeah, I don't see nothing. I wasn't a fish it, but it looks pretty choked. This challenge might be a little harder than I thought, fam. All right, guys, off camera. I did just big motor myself out to a little deeper water, and I did. Uh, I tied on. I got two rods now. I got that jig still on that other rod. I still need to catch a fish on it, but I also have this little thing tied up. And I just tied this on because I wanna. I wanna try a little bit deeper. I, I've yet to find any fish up shallow, so maybe they're deep. Wow, this thing feels awesome. I don't think. Uh, gonna be too hard to catch a fish on this little swim bait it's almost like a blade bait swim bait it's like a soft plastic but the vibrations of a blade bait or like a like a liplet instant first cast first cast oh it's a pikey it's a pike hey does that count that might count honestly I never really I don't know if it has to be a bass I mean, technically, I think you just got to catch a fish. No way. Is this real? Is this real? Oh, okay. I thought that it wasn't hooked. I thought it just had the blade. But it definitely is hooked. So here's the hook on it, guys. All you do once you catch a fish on it, I think, is you just kind of tuck it back in here. I like to stick it in there so that it's weedless. All right. I don't know if that counts or not. I am gonna give it another cast just because that was literally first cast. There we go. No! No! It's a bass. No way. Yes. 
on the swim bait. I love this bait. I'm not even fronting. Like, this bait is freaking awesome. I know I just caught a fish on it, but I'm gonna throw it in there again just to see if there's any more hanging out. All right, dudes, cool. Well, uh, there's one bait uh, scratched off the list. It is a cool bait. I'm like about to start using that thing. All right, I'm going back to the little jig. I need to catch something on this. Okay, dudes, this jig is just not working out on this side of the lake. I think it's too windy, so I think I might go with another moving bait. I think I'm gonna cut this off, and I think I'm gonna try that chatter bait. Okay, going with the chatter bait once again. I think I'm gonna save that jig if I like, if I can find a bed or something. I'll probably use it on that. Otherwise, it's probably just gonna be a last resort. I'm a little bit worried about the jig and that crankbait. And the and the the buzz bait. It's definitely not top water season here in Minnesota, so uh, yeah, that might be a little tougher, especially when they're just not biting like today. All right, dude. So although I haven't gotten hit on this, I think the chatterbait. I think on this lake right now, this would probably be the easiest thing to catch a fish on. And I'm in a really shallow bay right now, and I have to try to catch a fish on a on a buzz bait. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to tie that on also. I'm going to have three baits tied on. And, uh, yeah, see if I can't get a buzz bait fish back here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Watch out, Kevy. I'm going to put one of these on it so that hopefully I can hit two birds with one stone. possible to catch a fish on top water right now. They're not even spawning yet. Oh, yes, baby, let's go. Kevin, hold on. Okay, there you go, Kevin. Yes. Dudes, dudes, I did not think we were gonna pull that off. I'm counting this. I'm counting this pike. This counts because it's it's May 15th today, or it's May 14th. Like these fish aren't even spawning yet, but bam, there we go. Nice little pike. Kevy, uh, I'm not gonna let you lick this one. Pike are very stinky. I'm just gonna go ahead and let that one go. Yes, that was sick, dudes. Hopefully you've seen that. That thing blew up on it and I missed him, or it, it, it missed me. And I just kind of slowed it down, paused it a couple times, gave it a couple of pops and thing just crumpled it again. Crumpled it? Is that a word? I don't know, but that was sick. All right, seriously, dudes, I am taking this off right now and I'm getting out of this bay. This bay sucks, it's like two feet deep. I thought the bass were gonna be just schooling in here, but they're not at all. It's, the water's just too cold yet. Stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna re-rig. I don't know what I'm putting on next. I think I'm gonna use a crankbait and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the other side of the lake. Yep. Just a little guy, but it counts. If I can get him up here. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Watch out, Kev. I knew that wouldn't take that long. Here we go, baby. And this crankbait is called, here, I'll grab the package real quick, just in case you guys are curious and want to know. Right here, guys. This is called the B8 Lab. And this is a floating crankbait, and it only dives 2.5. I thought it I thought it dove six feet, but yeah. Ultimate strike shad. That took probably five casts. All right, guys. I think next I'm going to... I'm going to try to get one on that chatterbait. Yes! Please be a bass. Oh! Jesus, guys. 
I love this little fish. This thing took so long to catch and it's just a little baby. Oh my God. Okay, this chatterbait is coming the frick off my, my line. Usually it's, I love chatterbaits, but not today. They're just not liking it today. I'm pretty sure the only two baits we have left is probably my favorite bait out of the whole box, and that is this, this jig and these little craws. So it's time to tie on this little craw again, and I'm just gonna freaking just pound bottom. I'm just gonna drag this thing everywhere and hopefully catch myself a fish. Dudes, I'm not even exaggerating. I don't know what I've filmed so far. My GoPro is on, but I've been kind of fishing like probably an hour, another hour. It's been forever. It's getting really windy out here, but holy crap, that guy was not going anywhere. That is just a little baby. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. And uh, I'm not 100% done yet. That's the challenge. We just we just completed the, the monster bass challenge. It's a good thing I was able to uh, use the plastics on my craw and my buzz bait and stuff or else uh, this would have been a lot harder. All right, it's really windy right here. I'm gonna fish this just a little bit more with that jig and then uh, then we're gonna be going back to the other side of the lake or leaving, I haven't decided yet. yet dudes I put down the I put down that uh, I put down I can't even talk I put that jig down oh, switch to a big old white spinner bait shabang I think my big camera's off yep big camera's off but there's one on the white spinner bait I decided since I did the challenge I was gonna switch it up that is freaking pre-spawn Holy crap, is that pre-spawn. This is a fat bass. Welcome back, dudes. As you can see, we are back at the access. It was a rough freaking day out there today. Like, super windy. I hope you guys can hear me right now because it's so windy. But I did have a ton of fun out here today. It's always fun when you're on the water out here with Kevster. We did complete the challenge, so that is good. I mean, it, it could be worse. We could have not complete the challenge. And we ended up getting one really nice one on the spinner bait there on the end. And I did catch another little guy, but all the cameras were off, so. I don't know. I think we caught like 10 fish today probably so that's pretty decent huge shout out to monster bass for uh, giving me the idea for this video okay it is just way too windy i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here we got some merch back in stock link in the description or go to teespring.com slash fish and more or you can just scroll down i think my store is linked right down below like this video share this video smash that subscribe button we'll see you next time